Hi Gemini, welcome to your unexpected reading for January 2020. Uh, happy New Year, New Decade to you. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Starlight Divine Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. All right, Gemini, what do we got for January? What's your unexpected? What's going on? January. Gemini. January unexpected. Oof. Okay, Five of Cups. All right, the Empress. That could be Taurus or Aries. The world. Hangman, that could be Pisces. Oh, gracious. The death card, that could be Scorpio. Queen of Wands, that could be Aries. Lots of people here. All right. All right, so what? why? Why? We got an ending here, right? Not too happy about it. Gemini. Gemini. What are we dealing with here? So Gemini, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be, but it could be a Pisces, male or female, doesn't matter. All right. So what's what's this? Uh, so we've got one, two, three, four major arcana out of what seven? Okay. Some pretty big changes for you, Gemini, for the month of January, at least. That's for Gemini. What's this world card about? We got an ending. Okay. Consider that you have been set free or liberated, and the future is yours to make of it what you will. Um, even though there's this disappointment and sadness, it's about half full or half uh, empty the glass blessing in disguise all of that which you're probably not ready to hear and you're like ah but it I think that'll wash over you in time that you've actually been set free what's this world card about what's this world about all right there it is and set free we got the world and the fool Gemini Virgo or Aries right there so what's this king of cups about is this someone that kind of thought it was just best that you two um, stop seeing each other or, you know, tried to be diplomatic about it? What's this King of Cups? Okay, so this is Cancer, Chariot's Cancer. This could be Pisces, Cancerian, or Scorpio, but I read it as Pisces. I read the King of um, Cups as Pisces. It could be male or female. Mm. Hold on. Is that what this is? They're coming in. Oh, wow. Okay, shocker. Here they come and want to know about the prospects of working things out. After things have ended, they're coming back. We got the, okay, what? Or did you just meet somebody and it's like, oh, there's all this potential, but do you, are you up for it? Are you, okay. What's this hangman about? Oh my goodness gracious. Is this somebody that's like, Coming back in. What is with all these reconciliations? Or is this you meeting somebody new? Oh, what's this death card about? Did somebody end? I don't understand what the... It looks like someone's wanting to... Oh, is it they're thinking it's just best that I get on with my life and I do the things and I just need to kind of take some time for me? Is that what this was? Uh, that's fair. Uh, fine. It's fair. What's this death card about? Queen of Pentacles. That could be Capricorn. Huh. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to be funny. I just... Oh, okay. I think this, we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress back here. I think this is somebody that after this ending and you're like, okay, I'm dealing with this ending, but I've been set free. And then is this about someone wanting to come back after things have been ended and restore and heal? 
and offer the stability and the partnership and the reciprocity that they didn't have before. My God, it seems like this is that's a theme this month. And then, of course, <laughs> it's about... Honestly, Gemini, and I've said this practically in every reading, across the board, it is about each sign that I'm reading for not making a decision and taking some time. So I don't know how that's going to work if you all are interacting with each other. Like, if everybody's supposed to be taking some time and not doing anything. All right, what's this? This could be Aries, Queen of Wands. It doesn't have to be. All right, it could be male or female. What's this Queen of Wands about? Gemini. Two of Wands. Good. Okay, so... All right, yay, because no, <laughs> no for the full, yes, that doesn't make sense. No agreeing to everything. You keep your options open. That Just because they're coming back in and they're offering the stability, the thing is that it's twofold. Shocker that they come back in because they were the ones that ended it or that, that you, well, I think that, for the Gemini's that I'm reading for, they might not have ended it, but it, things ended because you couldn't abide the way it was. So either they outright ended it or they weren't doing their part and it was better that things ended because it was about um, respect and things not thriving because somebody didn't want it to and it wasn't you. So indirectly or directly, it, they ended it. Um, and they might have very well needed some time to kind of get their affairs in order, get some things together, figure some things out. Again, fair, but they might now be coming back to offer the stability and connection that they didn't before. The thing is, it doesn't look like you're interested because you are doing that for yourself. You're not, I think in the offer or in them coming back, you're going to realize that there's been this transformation for you and you're not looking to them for the same things that you were when you two were active before. So this time around, you want something different, only you don't know what you want really anymore because so much has changed. So it kind of leaves you a bit confused and like, well, I don't know what I want. And that's why you need to keep your options open because we've got growth and a breakthrough and we've got healing we've got this new beginning new perspective, everything. And then by the time they they figure their business out and what they want, you don't want the same things anymore. So you're both kind of like, well, I don't know what, and yeah. What, what, what's this Empress about for Gemini? What's Empress about? There it is, don't know what I want. Need to keep my options open because I don't know what I want anymore. I thought I wanted that, and when we were together, before things ended, I did. But I, I kind of like doing for myself, and I think I want something different out of a relationship, and I don't know what I want, and I want to keep my options open, and I don't think I want to be stable and exclusive anymore. I think I want to date. I think I want to have lots of fun, and go out and do stuff, and do the things, and maybe travel, and... and this is about you probably deciding that you actually, and I think that I said that in the beginning, that it might be some disappointment, but you're going to find that it's actually you've been liberated. And here it is. So now it's, and the thing is, you thought you would have wanted it, but now you're like, I don't know. I think I, I don't know what I want. I'm just not that into what we used to have anymore. I thought I wanted you to write, you know, level up and be the stable. But I don't, I don't think I want that anymore. I don't know if I want anything stable. I kind of like doing my own thing when I want and what I want and how I want. It's not that this is too little too late. You've just changed and you don't know what you want anymore. Um, but you like the fact that you have choice. You don't want anything heavy or committed. You thought you might've, you thought you, you thought that's what would repair and restore and uh, uh you're not interested in that so much anymore because you can do it for yourself so you're not relying on anybody and you don't want anything heavy or committed what else for gemini nothing vulture spirit nothing is wasted so we've got disappointment and sadness here and three spilt cups right you got two over here that are still full and i think that's that shift 
that that liberation realizing oh okay i don't want the same things i'm glad for it but i don't think i want to go back to it i want to see what's over there so i'm, I'm grateful for the experience but it's not going to hold me back anymore things have changed i get it now i'm it's like it's almost like you're jumping off of that experience to go into this new future boldly and being excited about it because you have choice and you don't know what you want and it's like i could put effort here i could go over here i could do this i could do this Either way, whatever you do with this person, it's going to be on your terms. And it's going to be about you deciding what works best for you. And I know this is about like things thriving and all that, but this looks like it's a focus on you and what you want. And this person just doesn't have that same kind of sway or pull over you anymore. I, I just, I don't think you want what you thought you wanted or you don't want the same things anymore. It's not that you don't trust them or don't love them or don't you like them. Fine. You just want, you want different things now. I don't think you're expecting that. I really don't. I think it's a shocker that they came back. But I think it's, it's more surprising that you don't want the stability that you thought you wanted or that you thought you would, you know, be what would connect you to or what you were fighting for before. All of a sudden you're not interested anymore. It's just, it's different. A lot's happened. It was quite eye-opening, this ending. Movement. This is a lot of movement here. What else for Gemini? Chariot again. There's that movement again. So we've got you realizing some at some point that, hey, I've been set free. I can do whatever I want to when I want to. I've got all these options. I want to go here. I want to do that. I want to try this. I want to do that. And this is about not having any regrets for that experience. And then bonus, they come back and, and want to work things out. But you're like, mm, I think I'm going to kind of keep going because I, I like it. You like the way things are. Major change. Surprise yourself even. No, for Gemini. Queen of Pentacles reversed as opposed to this one right here, Queen of Pentacles. And the five, no, six of swords. Okay. So there's that not wanting the stability and the security and the connection anymore and moving on. Not being emotional about it, just deciding. Logic and intuition are at the forefront. Instead of being disappointed, there's this, it gets transmuted to accepting what is and Moving on to just putting that behind you. It has its place. You don't regret it. You're grateful for it. But I'm going to move on. And the focus is on what you want. And where you find your stability. But you're not looking for anybody else to provide it. You're making your own decisions based on what is best for you. And it, this, it feels like, it's like January starts off kind of stagnant for you. You're feeling a bit stuck. But... It's, it moves very quickly after that. Like, it kind of, it's like this chain reaction of realizing that you're free. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, do, 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 do. And you end the month. I mean, it, it starts off like you being kind of like sad. and But you're going to find at the end of the month, you're probably going to be very um, focused on what you want. Despite this offer from the person that you thought would make everything better and make everything whole again, you're not concerned about it. You're more concerned about what you want. And I don't, it doesn't feel like you're going to want a relationship with anybody. You just like having choice. I don't think you've had that for a while. Okay. Well, I thank you for stopping by, Gemini. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading and I, I good luck with this and don't be too just know that if it still feels wonky or weird the the weight will be lifted it's coming the shift is coming it's just you just got to do a little bit more processing okay thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next reading um happy new year and new decade to you <laughs> okay all right you take care <laughs>